We're talking about making adjusting journal entries. In other words, cruising through our trial balance and saying, you know what? Some of those asset accounts still contain items that we've used or consumed already. So when we make an adjusting journal entry that moves assets to expenses, the key question we're asking here is how much has been used or consumed? So how much used or consumed? Because if it's been used or consumed, it doesn't belong in an asset account, does it? It belongs in an expense account. Now examples that we'll see of this are prepaid. So, for example, if you have prepaid insurance because you paid for your car insurance before you started driving the car, then over time, does that insurance expire? Yes, it does. So we need to take the amount of insurance that's expired out of prepaid and put it where? An insurance expense. So what would be the adjusting journal entry to move from prepaid to, say, insurance expense? Well, it would be debit, insurance expense, because the expense is going up, and the credit would be to the prepaid insurance. And the amount here would be the amount that's been used or consumed. Likewise, we could have an asset account called supplies. And when we have supplies, again, when we buy supplies, we debit supplies and credit cash or accounts payable. And we put them in the supply cabinet. But I don't know about you. If you've ever go to your supply cabinet, is it a lot of times empty? Which means the supplies don't have future potential value. They've been what? Consumed or used. So I need to take an inventory of our supplies, figure out what's left, and the difference between what I bought and what I've, uh, what's left must be what I've used. And what would be the entry for the amount that I've used or consumed of supplies? Did you say that it would be debit, supplies, expense? Oops. And credit, supplies? You're right. And again, the amount here is the amount that you've used or consumed. Not the amount you bought, not the amount that's left, but the difference, isn't it, what you've actually consumed. So that is uh, some examples of when we move from assets to expenses in adjusting journal entries. There's one more that I could share with you. And it uh, also moves from assets to expenses, but it's a little bit different because instead of looking at current assets like prepaids and supplies, it's looking at things like equipment. Now, when we have equipment, that's a long-lived asset, and that asset account is recorded at its cost. In other words, how much you bought your equipment for or how much you bought the building for. Um, so this could be building just as easily. But what we want to do every period is we know that the use of that building or the use of the equipment went into uh, helping us sell things, didn't it? So we want to show our usage of the building or the usage of the equipment, how much we consumed of it. So what we do is we make an entry for depreciation. Now, depreciation just means usage. So depreciation is our usage of buildings, equipment, long-lived assets such as that. And the entry is really easy. You'll love it. It's debit depreciation expense. That's how much we used or consumed this period. And we're going to credit an account called accumulated depreciation. Now accumulated depreciation is an asset account that has a credit balance because the amount of this entry is the consumption or the usage of that equipment or the building. So how do I know and remember this? It's very simple. You see this D-E-A-D. 
D E A D is the adjusting entry. In other words, it's the dead entry. So when you use your equipment and you use your building, are you basically killing it off slowly?